Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 701. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College website link, and you can download the workbook as a Magic Trick 698 to 702. In this trick here, we want to go to our, a data set. Here's before. Notice three columns. And here's after. And we want to do it with a formula. So we want to take all these values and list them in a column. Now, if you don't want this dynamic with a formula, there's a super simple trick. Copy, copy, copy. And just to show you, you go to the home clipboard, right? It's all listed there. Now let's come over to some column somewhere else and click Paste All. I do not know why that didn't work. Let's try it again. Paste All. I don't know why it didn't work the first time. Alt E A A. Let's clear all. But you can see, boom, don't need it dynamic. That is the quick and dirty way to do it. But we want to do it with a formula, and it's going to involve noticing a pattern. We are going to use the index function. Index can look up from a table, and you just need to tell it the row and column. Well, as we copy our formula down, notice for the first column, we need row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and column 1. When we get over, when we get down past this mark right here, we need somehow our index formula to switch. Go back to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and have 2 for the column. Similarly, 1 to 7 for the row, 3 for the column. So this is the pattern. If we were to say equals index, the array is this whole table, F4, comma, I should have made this. Uh, there's the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we start over again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And here's the column. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and then 2. Control. So if we uh, copy this down, you can see it works just fine. When it gets down to here, it's looking at 1 and 2. So 1 is the row of the data set, right? One and the second column. When it gets down to four rows, second column, one, two, three, four. Within this data set, four, two. So how do we create this? Well, uh, I did a video just a little while ago, 692, and we're going to put those formulas for number incrementing to use. So we have one to seven equals, and we'll do mod. Mod gives you the remainder. So if you say, hey, mod, what is the number 3 divided by 2? Well, there's 1, 2, and 3 with a remainder 1. And so mod gives you the remainder. Well, the number for us is going to be we need to increment. As we go down, we need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're going to use columns. Sorry, I'm going across rows. In the last one, we did columns. So we're going to do rows. I'm sitting in I4, so I dollar sign 4, I4. And we want to subtract 1. This gives us 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, comma. But what happens since our pattern is when you get past 7, we need to uh, switch? We're going to say divide by 7. Well, the first, th this is 1 minus 1 is 0. Well, what's 0 divided by 7? What's the remainder? Well, there's 0. 0 divided by 7 is 0 with 0 remainder. However, when we copy this down, we get a 2 here. I mean, a 1. We get 2 minus 1 is 1. Well, what's 1 divided by 7? It's 0. There's 0 7's in there with a remainder 1. And you can see the pattern gets copied down. So it repeats. So now all we have to do is add 1. And now we get our 1 to 7 all the way down. Now, here we use the mod and the remainder for repeating 1's 7 times. We're going to do a similar construction. We're going to take exactly this, this little part right here. I didn't have to copy that. I could have just created it. And put it inside the int, just like we did in the last video. right? So we take. Um, 0, 1, 2, 5, et cetera. But you got to put this in parentheses. So this is going to give us 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you divide by 7. That way, you're always getting uh, a f decimal here. So you're going to get 0, 
point something, point something, all the way up to 1. Let's just see what this looks like right here. Now that's not particularly uh, uh, helpful seeing the pattern that we created with, so I'm going to get rid of this int just to look at the decimal part of it because that's kind of the key, control enter to repopulate. See it says 0 and then 0 and some decimal, 0 and some decimal, and then 1, 1 and some decimal, 1 and some decimal. Well what if we hit um, F2 in that highlighted range, active cell, if we put int, it always takes just the integer part and goes down. So it's always going to take the zeros here and always the ones here and then when it gets to the third seven it'll take all the twos. right? And then to that we just add one. So I'm going to click up here plus one. Control enter if you have a range of cells highlighted and you edit your formula of course it uh, control enter repopulates. All right. So those are the two formula pieces we can substitute for that cell reference and that. Now clipboard needs to be open. I like to have my options for control CC so I can go like this. If it's cleared, it's got to be clear. Well, no, it doesn't have to be cleared. Copy control CC to open it. Escape and then come over here. Control C. I've got my two pieces. I come over here. Okay, so the row number is the mod, and the column number is the int. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Extracts just perfectly. Now the great thing about this formula is, you know, lots of data sets like sampling stuff. Say you get a bunch of sampling stuff, and it always comes like this, right? And the data is changing a lot. And really, for some of the data analysis features built into Excel, you have to enter data in a column. So people are oftentimes taking data like this and putting it into a column. So if you get the same set of uh, size set of data all the time. Boom, is that an awesome formula. And of course, it changes, right? That of course changes as soon as we change something there. All right, we'll see you next trick.